welcome everyone to our Mang Chat Radio 106 megahertz and watcher from followers from our Facebook Live uh, and this uh, Mang Chat program uh, Chat Radio is provided uh, by our Mahajualongkorn Rasawithanyaranya University Chiang Mai campus at uh, Wat Suan Dok. Uh, today is 20 March uh, 2000, uh, 2020 and you are here with me uh, Pra Son Tewi and uh, you also uh, be with another monk. Uh, he is one of the our meditation master at Monk Chat and Meditation Retreat Program of our MCU University. Uh, of course, everyone will know him very well. Uh, he is uh, Pra KK. Hello, Pra KK. Namaskar. Namaskar. Uh, how are you today? Uh, I'm doing good. Yeah. Would you please tell me about you? yourself? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. My name is Pra. KK, uh -huh. and I'm a meditation master at Monk Chat and Meditation Retreat provided by a Buddhist university, and it's an international university as well. And I'm so excited and happy to be here, and very good to see you. And I thank really so want much. to thanks to you and to the organizers of the radio program, especially to MCU Buddhist University. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. And uh, today we have a very interesting topics uh, to uh -huh. discuss. Yes. Uh, it, um, based on you are the meditation master who have a long experience teaching Buddhism meditation practice to foreigners who really understand, you know, the natures or the habit and how to convey or speak about Buddhism, yes. uh, especially to make it easier to approach, you know, as a beginner, as a non-Buddhist. So that's why I have invited you today to be here to talk about Buddhism and the Dharma is the Buddhist teaching in daily life. You know, how to make it easy and be part of our, our life living. You know, it's very important to invite the experienced one to discuss about today. So uh, would you please explain uh, about Dharma in daily life? How is that be part of our daily practice, daily life to improve, to uh, raise our uh, life quality in daily life, you know, based on uh, Buddhist teaching, Buddhist training. Yes. Would you please, you know, explain about that? Sure. Thank you so much for mm -hmm. such a good question. Yes, you said Dharma is very important mm -hmm. to apply in our yes. daily life how to live with happiness, peaceful life, how to keep balance of our way of life. So Dharma or Dhamma mm. is a Pali word mm -hmm. or Sanskrit. It exactly means the truth. To know the truth of nature, the law of nature. So basically, teaching of the Buddha is a dharma. Yes. Because Buddha, he taught us in our way of life how to know the truth. For example, mind is the truth. It's part of life. You have to know it. Mm. So we know as we know, Dharma, okay? It's yes. The truth. Yes. And before I'm going to tell you something about Dharma, I have to yes. say a little bit about Buddhism first. Oh, All very right. nice. Because 
Dharma is the teaching. Mm-hmm. The Buddhism. Dharma is part of Buddhism, right? Mm-hmm. Buddhism, it's a way of life. All right. Way of living. Mm-hmm. It's a practical method for liberating oneself from suffering. Very nice concept. Yes, it's based on the investigation or examine mm-hmm. how to keep balance of your way of life, how to accept the truth, mm-hmm. and then to learn how to let it happen, how to let it go. That's why the teaching of the Buddha is called Dharma, the truth. So there are three main principal teachings, as we know in Pali language. Sila, Samadhi, Panya. Oh, Sila, Samadhi, and Panya. Yes. What is in English? Uh, it means moral. Oh, the moral, the ethics. Yes. Moral training, mm-hmm. then mental training, then wisdom training. Mm, very interesting. Yes. So if you don't train the three things, you cannot balance your way of life. So mm-hmm. that's why Buddha mentioned the middle path in his Dharma or teachings. So basically, sila or sin, or we call moral training. Mm. It means to train your moral to learn how to avoiding or abstaining from doing bad. Mm. So when you're avoiding doing bad, then you can easily train your mind to purify the mind. Uh, Because you're avoiding bad, then you can easily train your mental. So when Mm. you train your mental, then wisdom panya it will develop oh it's everything connected it's <laughs> still training yes supporting each other yes uh, but moral is the base yes foundation yeah all right so we call the moral mental and wisdom mm. which is what you call uh you can call like the threefold trainings oh. to train in your way of life in three main ways oh, the avoiding right. that to puring the mind and to understand the truth to the good. Oh, this is the system of education, system of training yes. in Buddhism in daily life. Yes. All right. And how to train the moral? Can okay. you emphasize to that? Sure. To make it easy sure. to understand. Yes. So basically, uh-huh. moral training has three main concepts. Mm. Right speech. Oh. Right action mm. and right livelihood. You see, all are right, right, right. Either I'm not saying good or bad. What I'm saying is right. It's a middle oh. path. Right to you, right to others. So this, this is the, basically the moral training, the three concepts. Let me example to you. Let's say right speech. Do we speak every day? Yes, almost every day we speak. Yes, talk with the people in yes. daily life, we interact exactly. people in the community. Exactly. Uh, so, when you talk yourself or with others, speak right. Mm. Speak with your kindness, compassion, love and respect. Yes, and then people will also speak good to me yes okay so this is called the right speech Mm -hmm. you need the mindfulness which is part of the meditation knowing yourself understand yourself we call sati Mm -hmm. knowing awareness awareness how to be aware to speak right even you know in accidentally sometimes you know in accident Mm -hmm. something happened we have no mindfulness to speak right then we speak suddenly some bad words Mm. All right. Actually, if you have mindfulness to speak right, in accidentally you can use many good words. For example, oh my God. (laughs) Thai people say, oh my Buddha. 
<laughs> yeah, or my, yeah. Do this way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or my mom, or my dad, whatever you can say, right? Uh, Instead of saying that, when we have mindfulness exactly. or awareness, yes, we can, you know, um, aware to use the right word. Yes. You know, okay. and our, you know, um, fighten when you fighten. Uh huh. Like, how can I say? Panicked, something. Kind of, you know, not, not like a from instinct, but from conscious action. Yeah. So right speech, mm-hmm. it means not to tell lie, not to cheat by your speech, oh. or not to speak bad words, or not to harm by your speak. You know. So that's called the right speech. Oh, very wide. Yes. Know, cover in. Yes. Any speech in daily life. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then right action. For example, of right action, avoiding killing any living beings. Mm. To respect a life, not to harm yourself, not to harm others. Of course, yeah. We should live together with peace and happiness. Yeah, that's right. Mm. So it's more like a respect to all living beings. You know, not to, you know. To, to respect a life, not to harm yourself, not to harm others. That's the right action. You know, I wish the world could follow this kind of principle to make more peace and happy in the world to all living beings. You know, so uh, you should not harm yourself. You should not harm others. You should respect a life, mm-hmm. which is called right action. You know, and. There's more part of the right action. For example, avoiding stealing. Not only killing, you avoid, you abstain from steal, which is not given or permitted. Oh, this is right action. Yes. Or avoiding intoxicant, using any drugs, mm. alcohol. Uh-huh. For example, if you take drugs, you lost your mind. Then you can steal. You can misconduct. Uh-huh. You can even kill because you lost your mind. So you should keep right action. All right. Then right livelihood. So what I mean, right livelihood. We should learn to live in right way. So we live in, we work something, we do something, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. So we should have right livelihood. To live with honesty, work and live with humble, you know. Mm-hmm. For example, there are some people uh, has no right livelihood. An example, let's say some people work and take corruptions. Yes, not we right have there. seen in the news. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Some people, you know, have very luxury life. Yes. You know, but yes. finally, we have seen the news that oh, they got something, you know, yes. bad, That's and right. was erased and. That's also an example of wrong livelihood. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Let me give you more example. Um, uh-huh. Let's say a, a guy he do business drugs, uh-huh. he gaining a lot of money, but it kills life. People suffering, dying every day. Mm. That's not right livelihood. Okay. Yes, of course. Yeah. So basically, there are three main principle of moral training to learn how to avoiding doing that. Just to remind you again, mm-hmm. right speech, right action. And right livelihood. So that's why in Thailand, for the ordinary mm. people like lay men and women, they follow five precepts, which is mm. part of moral training. Yeah, we call sila. Sila. Five mm. precepts. Ha sin. Sin. Sin ha. Sin ha in Thailand. Okay. 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 In Thai. Yes. Mm. So it's part of the moral training. You know, mm. avoiding. Killing any living beings to respect a life, avoiding stealing, which is which is not given or permitted, yeah. avoiding having sexual misconduct. You know, for example, wife and husband, they can live together, but not same terms. A husband go with the other girls or whatever. You know, it's all about the respect. And then avoiding telling lies or giving false speech or mm. harming by mm. your speech. And then avoiding intoxicating, using any drugs, alcohol, those kind of. Things, you know. I think it's very important concept. Yes. That every human being should train uh, in this moral training. Yes. You know, otherwise we will have 
violence and not good environment exactly. in our community. Yes. And I think this is also human and other creatures or other human beings different from our human beings that follow this five moral training because yes. we have let's say self control not to harm others not don't cheat and this is you know human different from the others anymore that they don't have this when they hungry they will cheat mm -hmm. you know we, you know when they want to harm others they can harm they yes. don't have this self awareness self control yes. like a human being yes i think yeah this is important for important. every human being yes. essential beings to practice yes. in daily life to have a nice community yes actually uh -huh. moral training basically means to live good life oh to, to live with yeah, a good life no matter it doesn't matter that which religion you believe mm -hmm. you know western or asian doesn't matter it's all about the practice you know to have a good life mm -hmm. with happiness mm -hmm. not to harm yourself not to harm others you know yes. so which is we call the moral yes. training to avoiding doing that yes so according to buddhist sorry according to buddhism is the system of education um and you have mentioned earlier that when we able to keep balance our uh, practice in daily life it also will enhance or support uh, our mind our mental to easy to do what meditation yes how, how is that connected you know mm -hmm. mm. so well as i told you moral training yes avoiding doing bad you have a mm -hmm. good life then mental training all oh, the mental training yes so when we have a good life it's not enough sometimes. not enough when we have uh, you know physically perfect you know live in the everyday life with luxury life yeah. is not really enough not, not enough because it doesn't matter how much you reach oh. matter how much you're peace and happy all right you know we talk about the balance between internal and external happiness i love that internal this is yes. talking about internal yes you know so, so the moral part talk about external more like that all right okay so uh -huh. So that's why, you know, uh, if you study about the middle path mm -hmm. in Buddha's teaching, you know, so which is why I told you the threefold trainings, the train three main ways, moral, mental, yes. and wisdom. So you have to follow the noble eightfold path, mm -hmm. the middle path. So that's mm -hmm. what I'm talking about to keep balance. Okay. So the first is the moral training, as I told you. And second is the mental training to mm -hmm. train your rash mind busy mind kind of monkey mind to pure it to get the inner peace at least to get the state of peace in your mind you know right yeah see right. guys people some are so handsome so beautiful externally yes. but internally stress look at the rich people do you think rich people has no stress they do okay because internal they have, they have no peace mm. i don't mean all people but majority of people in this moral all world right. they right. have no, no no peace inside the mind okay uh -huh. so according to buddha's teaching the second training is the mental training it's part of meditation so basically you have to follow three main concepts to train your mind to pure it mm. let's say right effort Sorry for my English, sometimes my accent it doesn't work. It means <laughs> F F O R T. Right? Effort. Like patient or energy to yeah. to focus to do something yeah. longer and not easily to give up. Is yeah. that is that means yeah, of the that, effort? That's, yeah, that's what we say in Pali language, you know. Uh Viriya. Ah uh, Viriya. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. It means right effort, not to give up. You know, oh, right. So life, basically, no pain, no gain. You mm -hmm. want to gain something, you need the effort to do yes, it. Yes, of course. Work on that practice, you know. Makes sense. Investigate yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So basically, you need the right effort. Then, right mindfulness. Okay. Mm. Then, right mindfulness. Yes. Then, right concentration. Mm. The three main concepts you need pure the mind to train your mental so for example let's say you meditate for 10 or 20 minutes first thing what you need you need effort not to give up work on that 
Okay? With what? Mindfulness. Knowing yourself. You know, you keep, you keep concentrate on the breathing in and out. It's called also mindfulness of breathing. All right? Or abdomen, whatever you say. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's say, guys, you keep concentrate on the breathing in and out, in and out to keep calm and relax your mind. Suddenly, you can distract your mind because of thought, pain, noise, feel boring. Could be happen, right? Yes, I always get get kind of the distraction yeah. a lot when I meditate. My yes. mind think about the future. <laughs> That's right. Go to the past. That's right. You know, uh -huh. so many foreigners they might think that oh, monk has no thoughts, no worries. No, we also it's have monkey mind. mind. Yeah. Yes, but what keep right effort, right, yes. to bring it back. Yeah, right after right effort it's like you are you are not give up, uh, not to, giving up to keep concentrate. Yeah, you keep breathing effort. in and out. Yes. All so, right. So okay, let me mention one once again. Uh -huh. So you need the right effort. You don't give up. You work mm -hmm. on that. You practice on that with your mindfulness, knowing yourself. Let's say, as I told you, mindfulness on breathing to keep calm your mind. So sometimes yes. you're distracted mm -hmm. because of thinking, pain, noise, whatever. Yes. So, then you use mindfulness, we call sati, knowing yourself, being mindful, being aware, mm -hmm. to accept thoughts, pain, whatever, but not to dwell on that. Right. You know. Dwell? Yeah, not to like, dwell means like over and over, again and again, too mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. So what you need, again you need the mindfulness to bring your mind back to the main object. Then you need concentration. I have to come back and concentrate. Concentrate the right and object. object. Yes. Like a breathing in and out, abdomen rising, falling, yes. or whatever you. Yes. Will keep concentrate your mind on. Yes. So come yes. back to that. Yeah, come back to that. So we All call right. the right concentration. So basically, the three main concepts you need to train your monkey mind, busy mind to let it come or purify the mind. Okay. So right effort, right mindfulness, and right concentrations right see you train your moral you're uh -huh. avoiding doing bad you train your mental you pure the mind yes so these two main training will develop your wisdom oh uh, understanding yes something let's say from inside yes from this training can approach yes. to that yes because you train your moral oh. you're avoiding bad then if you're avoiding bad, you can easily pure the mind because you're not doing bad. Yes, yes. Okay, so makes sense. Yes. Makes so sense. moral training, avoiding bad, mental training, pure the mind. These two main training will develop your wisdom. So yes. when you have wisdom, you understand the truth of mm -hmm. nature, the law of nature. We call panya, mm -hmm. wisdom. You know, you understand your mind. You understand, you will understand the three main characteristics of Buddhism, which we call Anichang, Dukkang, Anattang, impermanence, suffering, wow. and non self And you will get, uh, how to say, you can able to arise and uh, awakening mentally oh. from your greed, angry, delusion, hatred. We call right. it Lapa, Moha, Dosa, whatever we call um, So we can self-control not to easily to uh, follow this because the defilements or yes the things that leading us to doing bad uh -huh. mm -hmm. the it, what greed hatred yes, and illusion, illusion which is going to leading yes. us to uh, you know commit wrong action wrong speech yes all right so that's that's a three Full trainings mm. in Buddhism, which we call moral, avoiding bad, mental, pure the mind, wisdom, to understand the truth of nature, the law of nature. When you understand the truth, then you can do good to you, good to others. Oh. Uh, okay. This is called the wisdom training. Right, yeah, wisdom training, you know. Oh. So basically, wisdom training has two main concepts. Okay. Uh, for example, right understanding, or you can say right thought. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, right understanding, or you can say right view, actually. Uh, right view. Yeah, right view. Like a mindset. Yes. Or it's more than that. Like view. Okay. How is the difference between mindset and view in uh, this point? 
I think, you know, um, right understanding, right view, we use in different words, but it's pretty same. To understand, mm-hmm. to know the truth of nature, the law of nature, you know. So, the which we call, okay, wisdom. Mm-hmm. Because you, it's from your wisdom, you understand the truth of nature. You can say it's right understanding or right view about the truth of nature, the law of nature. Mm-hmm. All right? Then right thought, you know. So basically, when you train your moral and mental, the wisdom develop itself. Let me example you of the uh, wisdom training. It could be good. All right. Yes. Uh, you know what? Last, I think last around three years ago, mm-hmm. I was in Mang Mang Chet program. It was rainy okay. season in Thailand. You know. All right. So there was a foreigner who came to Mang Chet. You know. Mm-hmm. So it was rain. There is no monk. I was alone. Right. And the gentleman he walked into Mount Shed. Heavy rain. Heavy rain. Yeah. A lot, you know. And he has no umbrella and it's getting dark, you know. I had to also go back to my temple. Mm-hmm. So you know he actually it's old guy. He don't have the smartphone to uh I'd say call the grab or how is it grab? Yeah. Like Yes, he car. has an app or something mm. like that. So what I did, I took an umbrella, I sent him to the main road of the Watswandok outside. Main road is around mm-hmm. 300 meters from Mount Chet. I stopped at a red taxi and I let him to go to the hotel. Mm-hmm. You see, this is an example of wisdom training, right? Understanding, right? Thinking. He didn't ask me, KK, could you please send me? No. But my we understand. Wisdom. Yes. Understand that we should help. Yeah. In this should, situation. Yes. It's part of my right. wisdom. You know. Mm-hmm. It's, it's also kind of love, kind compassion. You know. So I took him to the road, and he was so happy. Very nice. That's Very what nice. I am doing good myself. Mm-hmm. Doing good for others. You know. So basically, wisdom training means to understand the truth of nature to do good. So Very if you nice. train your moral, mental, and wisdom, we will you will able to train. To keep balance in your way of life, or the three main trainings will balance three main actions in your life, which we call what? Mental action, mm-hmm. verbal action, physical action. So if you think good, speak good, do good, no matter are you Christian, Hindu, Jewish, Buddhist, Islam, Asian, or Western, male, female, or female, yes. doesn't matter, you will have a good life. Yeah, it's more like a philosophy that yes. no matter who you are, we can. You know, practice moral. We can meditate. We can train our knowledge yes. to um, understand any situation in daily life. How we, sh- what we should do, what we shouldn't do. Yes, this is from from training our knowledge and you know, based on right livelihood. Yes, that's right. That's right. All right. It's called the middle path or middle way. You know. It, to keep balance between everything, you know, very and nice some concept. people, yeah, very, very nice concept, right? like, mm-hmm. you know, and some people, they feel difficulties in meditation practice. I think, mm-hmm. you know why? If you don't train your moral, if you don't learn to avoiding doing bad, then you cannot easily purify the mind or meditate, you know. So if you train your moral first, then you can train your mental, because you are avoiding doing bad, you can easily pure the mind. So it has connected between one and others, you know. Mm. So that's why Buddha saw the middle path. Very nice, very nice. So, um, for the moral training, okay, um, of course, you know, everyone can keep investigate and keep remind themselves to practice in daily life. So for the mental training, uh, it is important to guide or go to some retreat before be able to meditate or can we you know meditate in daily life yes meditation actually it's very important uh, things to do in our daily life Mm -hmm. because meditation as i told you is the mental training to purify the mind basically people are mentally so stressed you know Mm -hmm. so to, to get the inner peace you know, you should learn meditation. You know, I really recommend people who have no experience better yes. to go to meditation retreat. Or go to the actual class first. Yes, yes. You know, 
and then we can practice in yes. daily life. Yes. So All right. when you go to a retreat, you know how to do it. Mm -hmm. You know. Then when you come back to your home, you have to practice every day. You see, my English is good, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Very excellent. Thank you. So if I don't practice every day, I will not able to speak fluently like this. Okay. So same thing. You have to practice meditation every day then it will bring a good benefit you mm. know so that's why you have to practice the formal meditation at least for twice a day you know and i also want to recommend to, to the meditators at least once a year they have to go to retreat to remind them you know yes yes more yes. like that so basically meditation it's very important to train your monkey mind to cure it. Yeah. And every week uh, in our monk chat uh, and meditation retreat program yes. also provide uh, one day meditation. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. Weekly, Monday and Friday. Yes. For beginner, for uh, people who want to get introduced to Buddhism and meditation, right? Yes. yes. Uh, and also for the two-day course yes you also will keep you know uh, get longer experience of, right. of the meditation That's practice yes. at the meditation center yes but unfortunately <laughs> uh, in this occasion uh, this month next month yes can can you talk about the 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 you know the situation of our meditation retreat oh, yes. right now sure to, sure sure let yes. the followers know that yes yes you know well, how can they enjoy our retreat yes. well actually monk chat and meditation program mm -hmm. you know we have meditation retreat so we provide one day yes it's twice in a week every mm -hmm. Friday or Monday from basically nine thirty a.m. to five p.m. Uh, and we don't cost it's, uh, it's run by the donation as people Very appreciate nice. Very know, nice. to run the monk chat program mm -hmm. and orphanage, many different programs as well. Mm -hmm. And we have also two day retreat every Tuesday to Wednesday. We begin on Tuesday at 1.30 uh, until 4 p.m. on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. But two day retreat, you know, you have to go to the meditation center. So we will we meet uh -huh. in Mangchia first. Right. Then after a class, we have the taxi to take the meditators to go to meditation center for overnight. Oh, it means that uh, meditator will stay overnight. Yes, at the, the center. At the meditation yes, center. It's around right. 45 minutes away from what's one of our Chiang Mai city. And then we have also full day meditation retreat, mm -hmm. you know, uh, once a month um, mm. from monday but uh, tuesday to mm -hmm. friday okay right so um actually if you already want to learn mm -hmm. vipassana the inside meditation you have yes. to go minimum 10 days at an retreat oh all right but for the beginner they yes. call the yeah, baby we, we, meditators yeah, mostly mostly foreigners are beginners yes. okay beginner. for them this retreat is perfect you know, one day or two day or four day retreat, you know, to learn step by step, mm -hmm. you know. So that's why welcome to uh, our retreat. But nowadays, due to uh, COVID-19 or Corona virus, uh, it has been canceled for this month, basically. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are not yet sure that we're going to close in April or not. Mm -hmm. the situation first you know so we're going to announce in our website or facebook that when we're going to start to mm -hmm. have retreat again you know but right. once again sorry uh during these situations we uh cancel of our retreat yeah so they can uh i mean followers okay who are interested to learned you know the meditation practice in this pre in this uh, duration that you know everything tend to cancel and you also not supposed to travel a lot yes yes right now uh, our monk chat 
try to provide uh, yes. the meditation online oh, uh, yes, to approach right. yes. uh, to you easier. You can watch um, monks guided you through the Facebook Live, yes. you know, and also the YouTube Live. Exactly. Uh, you can follow us as well. Yeah, it's very. Uh, I think you know it's very great idea because nowadays people are not going to work. Yes. You know, and like students are employee. Mm -hmm. Students didn't go to school. Most of the school and uh, college, university are closed. Yes. You know, and then office uh, are closed. You know, so people are not traveling nowadays because of the virus. Yes. So when you spend in your home, home. Mm -hmm. you know. Uh, sometimes you might feel boring or something, you know, yes. because you are not supposed to go somewhere, you know. So that's why you, you should can... learn meditation. Yeah, it's a very great time, you know. Yes. There is the online meditation teachings, mm -hmm. even it's live, mm -hmm. but even you cannot join in live, but yes. you can still see from the, you know, video Yes. Or you can download it. You can listen on that. Not only meditation practice. There has so many good speech of the yes. way of life. You know to know more, uh, to understand more about your life. You know, so mm. yeah, it's very great idea. You know, nowadays to spend with the online teachings so or listening to Buddha's teaching or Dharma talk or a monk speech about the meditation and yeah. way of this life. This is how you know Buddhism serve. The society yes. we also do our best yes, you know, in this right. situation to how to serve yes. um, let's say Buddhism or or the meditation practice to everyone yes still can learn with us uh -huh. all right yes. and uh, anyway um, our discussion the Dharma in daily life such a wonderful topics and it's very informative that you uh, get an explanation from our learned monk from uh, Prakk. You yes. have like well known in uh, thank you. Uh, our you know face. Uh, let's say uh, uh, monk chat and meditation retreat program, and uh, he good recommends and <laughs> good review, of course. Yes. So uh, finally, uh, thank you so much for all followers. Uh, that have been watching us from the beginning until now and don't forget uh, to follow us from the meditation online That's from the right. monk chat and this you know monk chat radio 106 megahertz every day from uh, monday to friday yes. you know between 4 10 to 5 uh -huh. so uh, thank you so much for uh, your kindness You're compassion welcome. so Last and final, I would like you to, let's say, give something good for our followers uh, or the our, our you know listeners mm -hmm. to get something good from you as a great opportunity for you to have, you know, chance yeah. to give a speech sure. today. Sure. Give some best speech and mm -hmm. let's say give blessing uh, to the people as a yes. you know auspicious time for us. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you once again for mm -hmm. such a good program of the radio monk, online monk chat, something yes. like that. And also all the um, participants or listeners, you know, from all over the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And before I going to give you a blessing, just to remind you, mm -hmm. you know, everything is impermanent. No one know when, how, where something happened, good or bad. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you might speak, uh, you, you might, expectation or uh, you expect to get something you know especially good thing you don't get it something you don't want to happen like a bad thing you know but yes. it's happen so that's why please be mindful knowing yourself that's why i was recommend to you to learn meditation how to be mindful to accept the truth and not to dwell on that over and over again and again just to let it happen or let it go so keep practice meditations you will able to learn how not to draw, how to easily let it go. And especially nowadays, the COVID-19 coronavirus, you know, is affecting all the, all over the world. You know, I heard that it's yes. 177 countries. Yeah, you know, now affected. it's you yes. know, spreading yes. widely. More than 200,000 people was confirmed, you know, and mm. also 
uh, more than 10,000 people already passed away, you know, mm. actually Italy, I, I'm so sad yeah, for Italy, I'm so sad for that. because, you know, more than 4,000 people died death in Italy, you know, because of virus, anyway, so mm. please don't be panic, mm. you know, don't be panic, you have to accept the truth, okay, virus happening, yeah, you accept it, but try not to panic, so that's why, again, you have to learn how to be mindful, mm. not to dwell on your panic again and mm. again, not to worry too much, you know. It's happening externally, but internally right. you need the peace, mm. you know. So that's why important. it's important to be mindful, not to panic too much mm -hmm. and take care of yourself. It's your way of life, your authorities, your responsibility, you know, how to take care of yourself and others, you know. And yeah, as a monk, I wish to the all living beings to my friends, relatives, to all the religions, be free from all kinds of sufferings, physically and mentally. And I wish may all living beings, all the religion, be peace and happy and free from fighting, killing, war hatred, violence, ignorance, I wish may all living beings, all religion be free from dangers and problems and be more happy and secure. I wish may peace and happiness be revealed to ourselves. May peace and happiness be revealed to our families, to friends and relatives, to all living beings, to all the religions. I wish may peace and happiness be revealed to the world. Thank you so much for your attention. And now I think better to give a blessing in Pali language. Yeah, Pali very language. nice, very yeah? nice. Okay, let's do it. Sapitiyam Biwan Santu Sapalo Kovina Santu Mate Pawa Dwantara Yosuki Hiti Kayu Ko Pawa Apiwa Tana Siri Sani Jango Ta Panja Yino Jata Rotama Wata Di Anyu Wano Sukam Allah. Yeah, may all of you uh, be well, yeah. be happy, and be peaceful. And thank you so much for today to keep watching us uh, and learn something. I hope you learn something from our you know discussion. Yes. And finally, um, thank you so much for yeah, you're welcome. Uh, you your kindness to yes. give some speech right. today. Yes. Thank you and. Finally, yeah, we will uh, uh, come to the end of our uh, Monk Chat radio today. Thank you so much, everyone. Yes, have a good day. Thank you.